Throats all try. <laughs> Carry on. No, it's okay. But one of the issues in that debate, and uh, even in the core of Christian theology, the concept you spoke about the Trinity, and you spoke about the concept of consistent deity. If you look historically, there is a misconception in what the concept of the Trinity is. Now, Allah, in our language, Elohim, God, is supposed to be the same God. At the end of the day, the issue becomes that. Uh, when Christianity became a religion, that was what? How many years ago? Back to long after, let's put it this way, long, yeah. after, long after Jesus yeah. Christ died. Yeah. Now, you can have an, the idea at the end of the day is in, in Christian theology, they came and said, hey, in order for us to separate ourselves from what was Judaism yes, up until yes. that point, yeah. the only way we can do that is if we give Christ a new identity. Yeah. Now, how do we give Christ a new identity? We separate the concept of what is the Trinity. What's the Trinity? At the end of the day, there's only one God, yeah. and it's not Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, Jesus could have been the Son of God. That's debatable. It all depends on your, your beliefs. Yeah. We don't believe that. No, I, Muslims. I understand that. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> I got no... Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying, Fair at enough, the end yeah. of the day, it's a, I think it's a terminology think, because the Jewish no, it's, terminology it's a, it's a, it's about the Son of God. Yeah. It's a preconception yeah. of a misunderstanding of what the Trinity is. The Trinity, by the way, doesn't necessarily exist in any way, shape, or form in Judaism. Yeah, absolutely. You have God, you have the Holy Spirit, and obviously you've got offshoots of different people that think they're the Messiah. But at the end of the day, Christian theology, modern Christian theology, is based on a decision made by the Roman Empire to accept Christianity as its national religion, which means they had to make changes in order to separate it from the from Judaism and the basic theological idea the way they separated it is by saying Jesus is God but it was never like that and Jesus never said he was God absolutely yeah. that's what you Paul, wanted to find Paul, out yeah Paul, yeah Paul said Jesus was God but Paul is the largest divide between Christianity, Judaism, and Islam for that, you know, for all, so at the end of the day, but even, it's even, a perception. Yeah. I believe, look, I don't know if Messiah has come or not come, but I believe that there is God and only one God. Yeah. After that, you have the Spirit of God, which is part of God, but if you were to look at it in a hierarchy, there's still only one God. Yeah. Even Paul himself, you know, because I don't believe that he believed that Jesus was the Almighty God. He might have believed he might be a God, which which again is like in a Jewish terminology might be different because the judges were called gods. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. in Christian terminology. Yeah, so, well. so like for example in John 10 34, when Jesus call, uh, references Psalms 82 6, where the Jewish judges were called gods. Mm -hmm. Yes, again, like I said, that is a god or gods which are lower than God Almighty. Because Paul himself says the one true God, the Father, he very clearly says this in black and white. I forgot the worst number, but this is very clear in the Bible. Yes, I believe in Corinthians somewhere. And this is in Corinthians where, where Paul says he's, the Father is the one true God. I almost feel like a yeah. neutral here, yeah, because I'm not Jesus Muslim, I'm not. Seven, John 17, yeah, no, Jesus said that, I'm saying Paul also said that. At the that. end of the day, what everybody needs yeah. to understand, and this is the main problem with Christian theology, yeah? It had a, it had a divide, I have no problems with it, obviously, but I, the, the divide between everything that came afterwards yeah. was simply the fact that they changed the basic concept of what God is. Absolutely, yeah. Now, 1 Corinthians 8, 6. Yeah, they, that's all, all of the 1 Corinthians 8, 6. All the guys yeah. that come up here and debate with you, and you as well, mm. you should look at the Old Testament. Testament. That's the original book, man. Yeah, but we look, we look at the Old Testament, and that's what we point to the Christians with regards to but whoever they advocated. Were taught, yeah, they were taught to ignore it because in their in the New Testament it says Jesus came to fulfill the law, yeah. but they keep claiming Jesus came to abolish the law. Yes. So in modern Christianity, there's absolutely no reference to original social law. Absolutely. Therefore. Yeah. With regards to the Messiah that is referenced in the Old Testament, was he ever to be A, a God, B... There's no Messiah in the Old Testament. There's no Messiah. So do you... Do Actually, the full growth, the reason around the time that Jesus... Uh, so do the Jews, are, are they waiting for a Messiah? Yes, they are. They are. That's something that's actually... So where does that come from then? It's actually something, it comes from, you know what it comes from? From what's the right way? It comes from the Old Testament. It comes from, it comes from interpretation. Of the Jew, okay. Of the Old Testament? Of the Old Testament. So it is... Modern well, these are your rabbis, no, man. Come on, well, come they're on. interpreting. But, but we, they're not our rabbis. Our rabbis. They're so who who interpreted this? Listen, over history, yes. over the course of history, you have rabbis, and they've yeah. gone on to interpret the Old Testament. Personally, this is everybody has. It. I'm not a religious Jew, mm. and I personally disagree with the. Vast what do you think of Rambam? Do you believe he's a good I rabbi? Believe, 
believe he was a smart man. Does that mean everything he wrote in context of what he believed the Bible said is true? Right. No. Okay. So I'm, I'm just wondering, I mean, when you said that you believe... my brain. No, that's fine. So using your brain, you believe there is a Messiah to come? I believe that that's common knowledge nowadays. Or common no, no, for you, because knowledge. you don't believe in a rabbi statement no, 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 or commentary. Okay. If I believe so a on what basis do you believe that he's going to come? That's what I want to ask. Because you don't believe in the tafsir or the I interpretation. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's coming or what's not coming. I make no claim to that. That's, that's fine. I, I have no claim to that. But that's the reason I ask you. Do you believe, are you waiting for a Messiah? Man, I ain't waiting for shit. I'm living my life. I'm enjoying the city. You guys of are definitely not religious I'm Jews. <laughs> what? You really dug the religious Jews. No, by the way, no. The, okay, okay. Well, most, you know, about 90% of Jews are but not religious. But you must religious. have studied when you were young. Of course. I have a, first of all, I have a degree in Christian theology. So it doesn't need. Christian yeah. theology? Yeah. Wow. What's, Jew, so what's the interest in that? Christian theology and Jewish. Yeah, man, I Is was there more money in it? I was like, no, I was like 30 <laughs> years old. I just needed to go study in the university okay, something. Okay. So, just, you that know, was, that made sense. That was like the do. easiest subject or something? Not the easiest. Okay. The, just one I would never have to work in. Yeah, it's a big commitment to go to university and say, I'm going to be an engineer. Now, that way you go study theology, you learn a little bit about Muhammad, you learn a little bit about Judaism, about, you know, about Christianity. Okay. You go on, you become a well rounded person and live your life. Yeah. But any, about, any, any particular reason to go into Christian theology? Because you being well, a Jew, you know, I also studied. Honestly, I also studied the roots of Islam, and I also studied Jewish history. I took but your main degree, your, your well, major was Christian was theology. Christian theology yeah. and Jewish history. Okay, so, fair enough. At the end of the day, I'm a practical person. Yeah, I think we're a practical. Do you believe, as, as a Jew, do you believe uh, in life after death? Well, it's a very interesting. Personally, mm -hmm. yes. However. The concept in, in uh, rabbinical Judaism is not necessarily a heaven and hell type situation. Okay. It's a holding place until redemption. Now, what redemption is is a big story. But that's that's the main thing, isn't it? it the, 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 what is the end uh, end result? So all the goodness that you do in this earth, or the evil that people do in this earth, there has to be some form accountability. of accountability, some accountability form of reward of system at the God. end. There must be some reward and punishment for the people who do evil, some reward for the people who do good. So, First of all, of course, but yeah. I'm saying that's, it's not that that doesn't exist, that certainly exists because if it didn't exist, none of us would be people that talk or believe in God. In none, of us would have yeah. this, none of us would have this idea of we need to do very well because we would like something afterwards. But the reward is not heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to know, what, it, what it is. It, when, ha when death happens, when yeah. your physical body dies, you go to a holding place until redemption. Until redemption happens. That's when you say until redemption, what does that mean? That's until I have no idea. <laughs> okay. But a lot of people will say in Christianity, obviously, it's the Messiah. Obviously, rabbinical Judaism, they'll say the Messiah. Yeah. But redemption, I don't know how you define redemption and what the details We call are. it the Day of Judgment. So the Day of Judgment is basically when you'll be judged. And this will be the day when this the Day of Reckoning. So. All your deeds, good and bad, mm -hmm. will be presented in front of you and you will be given the results. So it will be like you waiting for the exam results at the end of an exam. You got an a your, life, an your life on this earth is the exam sure. and on the day of resurrection is when you will get the results. So, I think everybody has some form of Yes, that. yes. Yeah, I think the, the Hindus call it the karma. The Christians, they have a very similar system to the Muslims, yeah. I, think, I think, of, of heaven and hell. I think there are, the, there are Jews who do believe in heaven and hell. You might be a different kind. No, no, no. It's not, it, I just, it's not a black and white thing, like, you are good, no. First okay. of all, there's a phase before your soul goes to its eternal oh, yeah, lying place, yeah. and that's the thing. But yeah. it, I believe everybody, every monotheistic religion has yeah. a day of reckoning in some way, shape, or form. Yes, that's it. I mean, the, the Christians also have this holding place, which they call the purgatory or the Hades so, or something, and the Muslims call it... Um, the Muslims we're have a great conversation, so nobody gives a shit about what we're saying. It's yeah, cool. <laughs> well, that's that's fine. The Muslims also have a, a a place where, which is called the Barzak, which is a place you go to after your death and before the resurrection. Yes, fair enough. So anyway, I mean, there's a lot of common. Is it Abrahamic faith at the it end of the day? Faith? Yeah, but one thing I know is that the Muslims and the Jews they believe in the oneness of God, and they hold on to this very dearly, and this is the core of the belief, and this is something which will be your determinant on the day of judgment but, but I think, but <laughs> in addition to believe in the prophets here christians yeah, yeah. i actually believe christians those that practicing christians in their heart of hearts they yeah. may not understand the terminology and how they state it because of all the confusion of what the trinity is yeah but with that being said i think they, they hold the same idea they just explain it very differently than us which is well, why you just had that debate with bob yeah. because bob you guys see listen at the end of the day you just had this debate with bob because bob was talking about you know about jesus being yes. god in the monotheistic religion, 
Absolutely, yeah. And it, it doesn't mean that Jesus, yeah. listen, Because as soon as you say Trinity, it's normal monotheism to me. No, the word mono and the word tri. Well, Trinity in its, in its form, yeah. understood by, by modern Christianity, you're right. But, but if it, the concept of a Trinity is Father, Holy Spirit, and mm. some sort of Savior. Mm. With the hierarchy, it makes sense to all of us, yeah. doesn't it? No, but, but you see, this Savior was never to be a God. Even in Judaism, the Savior, the Messiah to come, was never to be that, God. So you cannot say, because for them, in the Trinity, each member is fully God, which is the core of the belief. Yeah, Bob just told me that. But, fully God, Bob, fully God, fully God. <laughs> but you have to forgive Bob, because Bob's been taught ever since the day that Christianity became a religion because of yeah. politics, that in order to separate, we got to separate ourselves from the yeah. Jews here. How do we do that? Let's call Jesus God. Well, Jesus, let's be honest, Jesus was a historic figure. Mm very well documented. He was, I guess, the punk rocker of those days. He's the man that led a social rebellion against a very, very corrupt religious system. And that's yeah. it's great. I don't know about the rebellion, but he was basically preaching most of the time. He wasn't like a, a military man who would lead no, a rebellion, no, no, like no, no, Moses no, no, was. No, no, no. Because you see, Moses and Muhammad, they did, they were statesmen, and they did have an army, unlike, unlike Jesus. So Jesus was, I think, Jesus was preaching about this oneness of God as well, just like just like a, a religious Jew would do. Of course, yes. But then these people, the Christians in the fourth century, that is when they adopted this tri the Trinity and so on. Before the before the fourth century, even the forefathers did not believe. The church fathers did not believe in this concept. If you read a bit into Jewish history, yeah. not the religion. I'm not talking about the Old Testament. The history, you mean? The proper history. Yeah. At the time of Jesus, you had several kind of cults or separated Jews. Like the Essenes and uh, what were the other the guys? You had the Essenes, basically you had the Essenes and you had the... Essenes, yeah. Yes, the Essenes okay. and you had the uh, the guys that were in the, the temple. Poshim, the Poshim, which okay. I don't remember, I remember and what they're called. All of them believed the kind of non-violence and against... Yeah, but Jesus came out against the Pharisees because the Pharisees were the ruling sect of... They were the corrupt yeah. mofos in the temple, taxing everybody. Yeah. Exactly. This guy so has something to say. <laughs> So, no, so it's the end of it. We accept him as a great. An icon that's, uh, that symbolized a kind of, um, a kind of uh, uh, current against the, 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 the corrupted system of the, of the region at that time, the temple and taxation that collaborated with the Romans. Yeah, the, we know the Pharisees were corrupt. I mean, so, they used I mean, to misrepresent even God's words and awesome. they used to mis, misrepresent many of the teachings. I'm going to say something really yes. bad. First of all, to me, now I'm going to, but blunt, honest. Mm -hmm. Every religion is guilty of one thing. Which yeah? is? Which is all thieves. The, the system are thieves. And at the end of the day, you know, you know how you control people? How you make them stupid? You let them become stupid. You make sure they live in poverty. You make sure they're ignorant. You make sure they have no information. This is how you control people. You don't talk about Trump, are you? What? <laughs> Trump? <laughs> Sounded like you talked about Trump there. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for your no, thanks time, for your time, guys. Yeah. Appreciate it. Are you guys uh, tourists here or you live here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Enjoy yeah. your holiday. Good, you came to Speaker's Corner. No, I just had, had, had a bit I, of a I, taste I always, of it. It's always rough for me. I can see All right, yelling, nice speaking like, to you, John. You take care. <laughs> yeah, I think. He, he didn't know what he was talking about.